Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I thought we would start a new series um, on how to create the new style um, paper bag, uh, loaded paper bag, sorry, <laughs> having a moment again. Uh, this was a project I've seen several ladies doing, but I've been inspired by Liz the Paper Project. Uh, she recently showed a video uh, with this idea, and I'm, I can't recall who ins had inspired her, but as you know, it just goes down the line. <laughs> but I've had, recently I was gifted this paper bag, and I've just been hoarding these for years and years, ever since I got into junk journaling, so I thought this would just be a great opportunity to try to use up some of these and <clears throat> combine it with um, some of my leftover scraps. Now what I'm going to be using on this project are scraps from Antique Papery, <clears throat> Chapter 1. I've got some scraps left over from them. I might even print a few of their papers. And also my porch prints, the uh, shabby rose, because I've got quite a lot of stuff in here that I think is going to work nicely for this, because you can see, I mean, this is how I've been printing and just tucking things away. So I might have to print a few things, but I'm going to try to avoid it, if at all possible, because I've just got so much of this that really needs using up. <clears throat> and these are some of the antique papery papers that um, I can use as well. And these are printed onto cardstock, but it's very thin, so I think this might work nice as well. So let's get started. Um, just to give you a, an idea of the largest, this is like from the bakery, this grocery store here. They will give you these for the bread if you buy. So this is about an eight and a half by ten and a quarter. And what I've done is I've just went ahead and snipped off the end so that this is going to create another little pocket. And then this one is about a twelve and a half by eight. So sorry guys, I had, uh, Daisy was trying to come up the stairs and so I had to run down and close the baby gate. Um, okay, so that just gives you an idea. Work with what you've got. There's no point in going out and buying more things if you've got a lot of these in your stash. Let's just make do. And I've not made one of these in advance guys, so we're going to be doing it together and we'll learn anything along the way that we think we need to, to change. Now I've got this glass scene, but I really think I want it to fit in here somehow. So I think I'll just bring that up a little bit. I'm not going to bother cutting this one because that's not really large enough to make a pocket. So I'm just sandwiching these together. And then this one, I'm going to come back over here. like so, but just to make sure these don't slip, I think I'm going to try, oh, I'm not going to be able to, I was going to try to paper clip those together, but I'm not going to be able to, There's, it's just not going to, so as you can see, this is the line I'm going to run through the machine and do a straight stitch on, and try to keep those in place as I'm doing so. If you find that's too hard, I think maybe just do a couple at a time might be easier. So I will be right back. 
Okay guys, what I ended up doing, I ran two stitches down here because I have used quite a few. I've got one, two, three, four, five, because this one at the back, oh I forgot to cut that. <clears throat> I'll think about that because it might be nice on the back to have another little flap. Um, I'll make that decision uh, later because actually thinking about it, I think I might just glue that and just make a pocket on the back. That's my thinking on that one. Okay, so I did run two stitches down there so you can see. That's how it's looking. Um, again, this one, I'm not going to, I'm probably just going to glue that down. In fact, I'm going to do that right now because it's too thin to really bother with making a pocket. And yeah, it's been a few days since I've been I've been in my happy place. So my glue is clearly dried closed there. Let's see if I can get it open. I'm so sorry. I should have been prepared. <clears throat> Nope, she's not going to work. Okay, we'll go to an alternate. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this one will work. <laughs> yeah, that's just some days, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah, I'm quite excited to do this little project because anything that uses up more of my stash is awesome. I've just um, been... Uh, quite busy. I don't know if you guys have been following, you know, all the videos, but we we're trying to clear out my mother-in-law and father-in-law's house because she's gone into a home. And um, so I've been just flat out trying to help with that because it's, oh gosh, it's just unbelievable how much stuff people accumulate. I've been fortunate because of all the moving around I've done. I don't tend to hold on to things except sentimental items, but I'm not a hoarder and become very minimalist in my decorating, except for my craft room. Because <laughs> if you've seen a, the videos of my craft room, which I will be doing a tour soon, um, I, yeah, my craft room's a little bit cluttered, but that's because I got all my pretty little things I like looking at. All right, guys, let's just start now by adding a little bit of these um, papers just to give it some interest. Oh, isn't that a pretty one? I like that. Actually, I'm going to do that. Just a nice little strip across there. So this is going to be a great one for <clears throat> little bits of extra offcuts that you've got. And we'll just, um, I'll start covering these. And then we can come back and embellish it at the end because we're going to just fill this up with little journal cards and tags and I don't know we'll just see what we what we get up to with this um, I just think it's going to be a really fun project to to clear out these little bits of scrap and then I think it might be nice to do something back here plus it's also going to give that more uh, stability And it might be nice to also put in some uh, collage. I've got these collage papers. Let me see what I've got up here. Remember I made all of these. This, this might be a great project to incorporate some of those as well. Because um, there again... <clears throat> Now, I, would, I don't want to cover all of that. I know that much. But you know, the other thing, we can make some pockets in here. I 
I don't know. Let me just play around with it till we get. Oh, I like this one. I really like that. It's like a quilt. And then I can just cut that across. Let me just get a little pin here. I'm just going to mark where I want to cut these. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really good use for these because I made these some time ago and I just really haven't. Um, well, they're up on a top shelf and that's part of the problem. If I don't see it, I forget about it. So. Down. And then I think it would be kind of nice to add some some more little. Uh, you know what? You could even, depending on how bulky this gets, that could hold a small journal back there. Maybe we'll do that. Just a just a plain one, you know, with papers. So that might be kind of nice. I tell you what. Before I put that down, I'm going to go ahead and make a nice pocket, a couple of pockets here, guys. Um, and I'm going to need to sew that on the machine. But I definitely think I want to do that. So let me cut this. Make sure. Yep, those are even. So before I glue this down, I'm going to go, I'm going to trim these down. Mm, let me see, how do I want to do that? Yeah, I'll trim those. I'll trim those down a little bit. I like the idea of two separate pockets. So I'm gonna take that down to three and a half. Okay, I'm gonna run those to the machine, guys, and then I'll come back. Okay, guys, I have now made two two little pockets here that we can come back. If we want, we can add some more, but just going to go ahead and get that glued down. Oh, I do like that. I'm really glad I um, I chose those those papers because I kind of forgot them. <laughs> As you do. So this one, <clears throat> I think in contrast to that, I'll go with with one of these that's got the design here. So let me see what I want to cut that out. I'm going to go eight and a quarter by six. So we've had a change in the weather here. It's really, really now starting to feel like autumn, which um, is my favorite season. So I'm excited. I'm excited for the cool down. It's just, you know, kind of sad because it feels like it really doesn't feel like we had a, 
a summer and there's no reason other than everything that's been happening in the world um, so it does kind of feel like we just went from winter to autumn I don't feel like we had a spring or a summer this year but will not complain uh, just grateful that we're all safe there's a lot to be grateful for because um, there's a lot of people suffering wow at this time in history so I'm not going to complain about it everything <clears throat> hopefully you know, we'll, uh, we'll be better very soon is what I'm hoping. Gosh, that bone folder. I can't keep up with those things. Uh, I, I know we've talked about this so many times before, but I've got several of them, and I can never find those things. I lay them down, they get buried. <laughs> Okay, so now on this one, this is I want something that's going to look nice against that because I'm not going to cover this one. I've decided that's that's too too pretty to cover. So just get something nice on this because you've got that's pretty sturdy there. Might be nice just to have a design down with these off cuts. I think I'll just trim those down. Yeah, let's give that a try. Let's see if I can make that work somehow. So that's going to end up at two inches. I want to make sure that they're the same. And then. layered up there. Okay, liking that. That's really coming along pretty, I think. And then we can dig out and start making some really pretty little things to go inside this, because I, I think this is going to probably end up really chunky, because <clears throat> my mind's already starting to think what I want to add to this, so it's probably going to end up massive, but that's okay. Just another way for us to use up these scraps. If I feel that that's too thin, <clears throat> I could add some cardstock in inside that, but I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I've got that scratchy throat again. And we'll have some sorry silk or seam binding, something to tie this closed. So it might be nice actually to get a piece on the back here. So I'm going to go back to my kind of patchwork. And that's actually wide enough, so I'm happy about that. I'm just going to... mark this and trim it.
Okay, I'm just going to trim. All I'm doing is just making that uh, a nice straight line. I'm not going to put pockets in this this time because I'm going to go ahead and glue this <clears throat> and this is going to be a pocket, a large pocket on the back. glued. Now you know what <clears throat> I think would be really nice with this project is at Christmas. Can you imagine if you did this at Christmas? And then maybe tucked in some, I mean, because look at how much these expand. If you tucked in some hot chocolate packets, um, maybe some handmade um, gift card tags, some little, you know, just little things, little candies, Christmas candies, maybe a couple of cookies in here. Oh, wouldn't that be adorable to give like your neighbor for a little Christmas, um, early Christmas gift? Oh, I think I might have to do that this year, actually. Oh, that would be so fun. You know, you couldn't put too much, but enough for like two people. You could get a couple of homemade cookies in here, or this one would be even better. And then, oh, I love the idea of doing that for Christmas. So think about that, guys. How much fun would that be to give out as little Christmas gifts? Okay, so where are we? Um, this still needs something doing here. I'm, I'll come back and decorate that a little bit later. So I want to get something on this one now. really nicely there. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, and then I need something there. Okay, let's see. I tell you what, guys, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> carry on covering these, and once I've got it done, I'm going to come back and show you uh, how it looks, because there's no point in you having to sit here and watch me just glue paper down. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, everybody, I am back, and um, okay, I'm back, and I thought I'd show you where we are at this point. <clears throat> so I've just all I've done is just cover the front and the back of these, so that it gives it some stability there. 
and it's just it's worked out so well because I had these printed already now I haven't done this I may come back and cover just the bottom portion of this bag I did on the back I'm still debating on this I'm kind of thinking I might want to but I'll leave it for now I've only covered the front of this one because I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the back yet and then this one I left that clear. I think this actually might be the, a nice pocket to add a small writing journal into. And then here we've made two pockets in that one. And then on the back we've got this. And I will cover that later. And then we'll, the closure is just going to be like sorry silk or something. Um, I think, unless I end up doing like a snippet. I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that in a bit. But <clears throat> that is part one of the um, loaded paper bag. Uh, paper bag envelope. Lo loaded paper bag. Yeah. So we will be back on the next portion and start adding a few more elements to this. this I don't think it's going to be a very long project because... Um, you can see it's pretty much, you've got the base of it now, and it's just a matter of filling these things in. But um, So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back. Take care.